Before there was the Game Boy, we had these handheld toys, you know, football, golf, that type of stuff. Tetris, that was one. I'm going to build one today. This is a little kit you can get from IC Station, and it's basically to teach practice on solder and so forth. But uh, hey, it's a little retro game. Let's build it. Well, today I have another little do-it-yourself kit to build. Let's see what we've got today. Have a little circuit board. I have a digital display. I have a couple of dot matrix displays. I've got an IC. This is a an STC, but it's a one or fifteen F two K six zero S two. 281, it's a dip 40, a three digit display. The MCU contains your program uh, and your operational memory and processor on a single chip. Basically, it's a single chip computer that has all your input and output all in one chip. And a pile of little parts, including a USB cord, some standoffs, some push button switches. There's a four push button switches, a little buzzer, capacitor, actually five little push buttons, six push button switches. What is this? Oh, that's the USB socket. Let's figure out what goes on here. I think it's pretty pretty easy to figure out where the parts go without even having to, to look at a manual. We'll undo the parts. And these have a notch on them, so there's the notch there. Digital display goes here. I think this is going to be pretty pretty self-explanatory. We'll start by mounting the IC socket. Put the IC socket there. And we'll start by just attaching the components. This came uh, from IC Station. They sent me this to uh, try out and see what it does and show it off to you guys little solder practice kit The IC socket is mounted. Next we'll mount the switches to be mounted here and they are all laid out in a controller type fashion. Oh, these ones are bent. Buzzer goes in next. Two more switches go in on the side here. Main power switch goes in over here. One capacitor goes in here, 220 microfarad, it is polarity sensitive. We have the USB power socket that goes in here.
and I'm just going to tack this in to the edge first just to hold it in place and then I'll solder all the rest of the pins in that'll hold it We have the seven segment, three digit digital display and it shows which direction it goes in. The decimal point to the bottom. There's also a different number of pins, top and bottom, so it's only going to go in one place like that. Bend over a couple pins to hold it in place till I solder it. We have the two main displays. Again they've got a notch on them. It indicates which way they go in. It tells you right here. There's a little notch on the bottom of the display. So I'll put the two main displays in. It's going to bend a pin over on each one just to hold it in place until I get it soldered. We'll do the same for the other one. solder and the two displays and then I'm just going to put the standoff sound pop in the micro and power it up and see whether it works and what it does and exactly what it is. Okay, the last thing to put on here is these little standoffs. So this is just so that it holds the board up off the ground and you can of course mount it into a, a case with these two. Last but not least, the main IC. Pop it into the socket. I know I can hear it now. Anti-static foam, right? Styrofoam is real good, right? Good for creating static discharge. I wonder if this thing's actually gonna just like work. That. Let's power this thing up and see what it does. Okay, I've got power. Plug the power cord in. And watch it do absolutely nothing. Just as I thought, it don't work. Hmm. I wonder what the problem is. Okay, uh, let's see how this thing works. Oh, guess what game this is. This would be Tetris. Of course, I've not playing it very well, am I? Hey, I've never played Tetris in like years. I haven't played Tetris in like... The idea, of course, with Tetris is to get all the fill all the dots up and I'm kind of I'm kind of losing here now aren't I because you kind of have to fill them all in and I'm kind of messing up here I got zero 
It's Tetris. What else does this thing do here? Does it, oops, does it do anything other than this? Oh well, as you can see, I need a little bit of practice. That's it, Game of Tetris. Um, pretty simple to put this together. Got this one from IC Station. Uh, fun little kit. I think I'll be playing with this for a bit. It's a great way to waste some time, if you know what I mean. Oh, there's a few other menus in here, right? That you can uh, play around with. I noticed that uh, menu, this one here is brightness. So you can dim down the brightness of the LEDs. And the next one here, this is sound on and off. Off. On. And I don't know what these other ones are. I guess these are oh, these are different games. Got three different, got a couple different games in here. I have to figure those out. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.